Thank you, Brian and Tammy Brennigy, for sending us the sample. It may be short. But it's sweet. This is a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof Fort Wayne, Indiana store pick. Mm -hmm. Quite high proof, 132.9, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> we have been, you know, I feel like everyone's been talking about Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof lately, especially with our Bourbon Night Awards. It got so many submissions and yeah. is it underrated or dismissed or, <laughs> or is, is it the, the best, best cast strength? Barrel proof. And, yeah, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then you put in, you know, the um, uh, variable of store picks, which I think more times than not are a good thing. Sure. You can obviously get a bad pick, depends on who's picking it, but the store pick variation of things just seems to excite people even more. It does, and we have never had a store pick of this before, and you know, we That's do right. try to get some store picks mm -hmm. uh, for ourselves and our patrons, so. Well, I know Brian and Tammy wouldn't have Who given knows? it to us if they had not liked it, so I already know. It's gonna be good. Uh, you said 132.9, so it should warm you right up. Uh. I mean, I do get some classic brown Gorman notes on the nose, but I uh -huh. wouldn't say it's not that typical orange cherry. It's more of like that toasty oak, almost like a marshmallowy. I get more earthiness than normal yeah, but there on is the brown earthy, Foreman. Earthy and oaky. Yeah, okay. Well, we like to keep these things short. And sweet, so. Woo! Yowza! That'll wake you up. Hello! <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Apple? Mmm. Baked apples? It is, but it's also got this like really rich, dark, Brown sugar chocolate. With a pine needle kind of shoved in there like there's some. You're shanking them? <laughs> You're getting um, shanked with a pine needle? Getting shanked with a, put that on your label. You know what, I don't think I get that, I think. Hmm. Well, I, I definitely... You know, it's all subjective, but you're wrong. <laughs> There's no wrong answers. But you, except, except for the one that you just We just found the first one ever. No, I think it's that earthiness that I was getting on the nose. Um, and there's some effervescence or some brightness that's coming in sort of like a, oaky way like you know mm. pine or what you would get with a rye you know yeah i don't know i mean i really like this uh i like the texture mm. of it and it's mm -hmm. tennessee hug yeah I, I like that it's playing with like oak and chocolate and darker more mature notes um but it still has a little bit of a dirt desserty sweetness in there that i really like this is like one of my favorite balances to play with i've Gone back for my second sip twice, and somebody like, well, no, hold on, I, it's still. I I still oh, I was like, to... Chad, that's what's called your third sip. No, I haven't actually <laughs> taken it. I've made the motion and been like, not yet. Hold on, still kind of working its way down. But Chad, we gotta keep it short. I'm ready. Mm. Really good mouthfeel, just envelops the whole mouth. I'm digging the proof on this. I mean, it is. Yeah. It is a lot, but I think it's really good. Well, I'll tell you what, to compare this to something, and it's not exactly fair because the other one we had at a festival, so we had a, other things before it and after it, but we got to try the Jack Daniels Coy Hill finally, mm. which was 141 point something. Um, but I'm actually liking what the proof is doing right now much better than that Coy Hill. The Coy Hill, I thought, tasted a little hot for hot sake. I agree, it was very like hot tamale, and it was good. It was but good, this but this is like way more up my alley in terms of flavor. And just to let you guys know, we are fans of hazmat stuff. We've had things that are over 140 proof that we're like, this tastes like 120. Like when it's, we're when proof it's hounds. right, it's right. It doesn't matter if it's hazmat or not. So don't be like, oh, you guys just can't handle over 140. Chad, I don't um, think they think that. I brush my teeth with 140. I don't think anyone uh, thinks that. <laughs> but no, this just seems to, be more well-rounded mm. and just settling in nicer somehow. Sure, yeah. I enjoy this. It is tasty. <laughs> I mean, we can't speak for every store pick out there, right? Because this is the first one that we've had, but based on this, I would buy another store pick if I came across one. So hopefully that's helpful for and you especially guys. especially from this uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Now I hear they're harder place. to find, harder to find lately, but yeah. if you see one. Mm. So thank you, Brian and Tammy. This was short. But it was so sweet. So very sweet. Mm. Uh, but you want to tell you about our home on the internet. It is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get things like hats, t-shirts, glassware, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Join our community for as little as one buck a month. There you go. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, consider doing so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We'll see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Brian and Tammy. Until next time, drink more bourbon.